today I'm gonna to be painting the wheels and uh, you guys seen the video the last time this uh, it's called almond white or gloss almond and this is basically like a darker deeper off-white and I'm gonna be painting uh, the wheels and it's gonna be uh, pretty cool because I've done this already the same color and I like the way they look I stripped them to polish them and uh, yeah, I just really neglect the wheels, look how filthy that is. And um, yeah, so I think it's time to paint them back since I like them so much. $5 paint, really not bad. And yeah, so I'm gonna uh, probably end up uh, scuffing this lightly with about like an 800 grit wet sand, just so it could uh, adhere a little bit better. I'm not gonna be using primer because one, I don't have any, two, that one says that uh, it's got like a primer with it, so let's see. Yeah, so it says right there, paint and primer, 2x coverage, two times coverage, and yeah, so let's do this. All right guys, so I'm taking off the wheel and uh, this little jack, eBay jack for uh, 20 some dollars, pretty good. Instead of lugging around my huge jack just to do a little job like this or have to a little bit more than half the time I'll use the scissor jack for like dumb little projects like this I'll never go under the vehicle obviously with the scissor jack but yeah this thing is a uh, pretty cool I wouldn't trust it to go under either obviously without a jack stand or anything but um, yeah don't trust any jack without a jack stand but this thing is pretty nice just keep it in your car it weighs uh, what 15 pounds and uh, it's a hydro jack it's crazy I bought the little uh, bottle jack for the same purpose but this car these cars are just too low for uh bottle jacks but yeah pretty good purchase right, so i already got the wheel off and uh it's pretty dirty gonna clean it up real quick probably just uh dust it off and then i'm gonna try it like scuff this with some 800 grit and uh 800 grit's not too aggressive but it's not too light so it's gonna have a little uh bite to it i had these old paints right there in the back for like a couple years already so well actually I bought this one recently or one of these recently and well, one of them's old and uh, they're kind of dirty not good for painting um, you know body panels but they're good for this so yeah so I'm gonna uh, mask it up and uh, yeah I'm actually gonna like put like some paper on the bottom right here so I don't like paint the ground One eternity later. All right, guys. So this is taking literally forever, but and this tape sucks, so it keeps like ripping like this. So got to keep going. If I had some type of cards, I could put them in there, but I don't have uh, index cards or you know any type of playing cards. So this is gonna take forever. All right, guys. So ready to paint. Hopefully, I don't get off too much right here and uh, paint the tire right there. But I doubt it. All right. So let's spray it. Covers pretty good too. All right, so second coat. So, third and final coat, I'm basically going to get all in the little 
uh, jams and stuff. I still have a lot of uh, the original factory clear coat on these wheels and uh, I'm actually using a, a razor blade. That's the original coating right there. Coming off right there. So instead of having to sand all that down by hand, it's way easier with a uh, right there as smooth as glass right there so I'm basically uh sanding this wheel down because this is the wheel that I didn't polish originally when I made that video about a year ago two years ago and uh so finally I'm just going to take off this original finish because if I leave that clear coat on you're going to see that you're going to see the little uh hills and valleys over the uh the white paint oh yeah so actually pretty good tip right there use a razor blade Alright guys, so I'm recording the video and it return. That's like a huge coincidence. But yeah, so I'm gonna reuse this masking tape and uh, get this one done already. I already got all the clear coat off because this is the uh, wheel I never refinished. So, alright guys, so second wheel already and uh, I'm not gonna film this one or all the other ones I'm just gonna show you how it looks like uh, after but yeah so gonna just get this done I already took off the factory clear coat looks kind of rough but I uh, just put some uh, 240 grit all over it and uh, yeah this one's not like a polished one like I said so yeah so later on when I strip these wheels I'm gonna repolish this one then they're all gonna look nice out and makes the car look overall much better shinier newer nicer looks pretty good the wheels are a little bit too too clean because uh, you know all the like dents and scratches on the car the wheels are all like perfect and everything so it's kind of like it's clashing way too much but as soon as I get some miles on them then you know it'll look pretty good but yeah but don't mind my uh my tripod here let me get my dog out of here come on all right the car was all cool in the shade but the sun moved over already but yeah, I don't want him to bake in there but yeah, so overall looks pretty good. Pretty satisfied. Now, um, earlier this year, I mentioned a lot of plans with the car as far as engine, um, transmission, and other little things. And I really gotta update you guys on my little situation that I had because I had a huge purchase, well, at least a huge purchase for me because, you know, I'm broke ass. And uh, the deal went sour, and it went sour with, uh, you know, a pretty reputable um, company that provides, uh, you know, JDM parts. And so I hyped it up 
on Instagram, people were wondering and people have asked me and I kind of haven't really spilled the beans even though I spilled the beans already by, you know, like not bragging but telling you guys about it. And I really haven't told you guys about it but um, that's going to be for another video. I don't want to have like a little cliffhanger but uh, I did try and purchase something very cool for the car and it's a major performance upgrade but uh, the deal went sour so look at the brakes right there that looks pretty sweet kind of chipping off right there it's okay probably when I put the wheel on who knows but yeah so I am gonna update this uh, this channel on what uh, my plans were what happened what's in the future and uh, still got the car car still pretty clean and you know there's just endless things to do with this car to uh, you know make it even better than it is you know that's the beauty of these cars that they're not super 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 expensive and parts are readily available I really want to repaint the hood like do the body work has like some dents in it right there and uh, I want to do this quarter panel and my driver's side door bed liner fade it that's like some old wax right there yeah so like the bed liner fade it five dollar ebay wipers best purchase ever I just love you know buying cheap stuff off of the ebay and just like winning 100 percent i'm probably gonna paint the mirrors no more uh satin it's gonna be a um, gloss to match the body and uh yeah so uh if you like this little update of the car just a little exterior update please like subscribe and comment and there's gonna be much more of this car to go not done and uh i really hope to uh you know provide some better content you know and uh be more consistent and upload more too but i know you guys don't really like vlogs and stuff you guys like primarily integra you know so there's really not much i can do can't really always provide integra content but it's kind of chipping right here but i'll uh, do the best that i can the badges right there kind of fading already this is hot SoCal sun. Alright guys, I'm going to cut it off right there. If you liked this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys on the next one.